welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about coffee and more specifically going to be talking about how to tell a story within a set of images. So for example five images, how we get from the beginning of the story to the end of the story. I'm just going to keep it simple today and relatable to myself because um, I love coffee obviously. So I'm going to do a sequence of phot uh, photographs from start to finish of how to make a cup of coffee. I'm also going to uh, talk about how it's relatable within the video and in the future I'm going to be making a video about sequences and uh, basically this, these five shots is essentially a sequence of events and in video that's very prominent um, getting from following the character's journey from one place to the next instead of just doing a hard cut you can bring in a basic four shot sequence but obviously for this we're going to be doing five shots for photography so that will be a later video that I might plan to do if you're interested in that subscribe, follow, um, hit the notification bell and post in the comments if you're interested in seeing that sequence video about video um, but I'm going to get back to the coffee and without further ado let's make a brew just didn't even mean to do that, lyrical genius so yeah catch in a bit so the way that i've set the scene <clears throat> for this particular uh coffee uh sequence got an espresso cup because that's relatable to espresso got to coffee obviously uh i'm going to be using the down the range shock and awe um blend um down the range is a coffee company that i've been um working with for the past year and a bit maybe um, and excellent coffee company unbelievably tasting coffee um, I'll show you the other ones that I've got just as a bit of a shameless free plug for Matt and the company so we've got on point here um, as you can see there maybe I don't know if you can see it so on point is their coffee uh, we've got Regroup and we have Ravalli. Ravalli is the one that you obviously usually have for breakfast, but it they're all mega. Um, can't, uh, can't praise them enough for uh, their products and their ethos. Um, and it's veteran owned, veteran ran. Um, anyway, yeah, perfect cup of coffee. Um, so that's the company that I'm going to be using today and uh, yeah get yourself on their website uh, I'll link it in the description below down the range coffee for the perfect shot so yeah cool beans let's get on it I'm going to be using a Chemex today um, the Chemex I've only had um, over the past couple of months if you've been following me on Instagram um, it's basically a drip uh, filter coffee um, that's the actual Chemex, it's glass, it's a French company and then you put the filters in there and then obviously put the coffee in the filter and then use hot coffee, uh, hot water to make the brew but we'll go through the process anyway but this is the basic kit that I'll be using I've got a practical light behind, it's off at the moment but I've got it set up on a dimmer switch so that I can control the exposure of that light, it's just a normal light uh, it's a normal light that I got from Aldi actually and then I just put a vintage looking retro bulb in it because um, I just think it looks pretty cool and it just sets, it breaks up the background and sets the scene. Talking about background, I've got my grey background that I've just recently bought hooked up to the wall so that um, I can get it out of the way and let some window light in um, when it needs to be but for this it's down, it's relative background and uh, yeah cool clearly got coffee beans everywhere, um, it's, it is real coffee, I keep it in my coffee jar that I've got over there that you may have seen me pouring them out. It's got to the point now where I use them that much that they're literally going to be props now and I'm not going to use them for actual coffee making. This room gets pretty dusty, so even if it's in a jar, I ain't using them. Anyway, uh, enough waffling, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go boil the kettle and then I'll explain the kettle because it's a pretty cool kettle. And then um, we'll go through the process. So yeah, I'm gonna go and boil the kettle and I'll catch you in a bit. So that is the kettle boiled. Um, 
Yeah, so I have a gooseneck kettle. Love this kettle. Basically, the neck of the kettle comes up from right at the bottom. It's opposed to right at the top. Normal kettle, obviously, from the top. This feeds up, and the, the water pressure basically makes it come out the top. And also, the fact that it's got this gooseneck stops the water from coming out really, really fast. It comes out nice and slow, which means that um, you can control the amount of water when you're pouring it into the Chemex. And it doesn't um, smash itself in there and basically obliterate all of the coffee and ruin the flavor of the coffee. Also, I've got this particular kettle. I think it looks cool with the wooden handle for a start. Um, the base of it is temperature controlled. So with um, fresh coffee, it's good to have it about 80 to 85 degrees. And this particular coffee cup, coffee cup, coffee kettle machine can do 60 degrees, 80 degrees, 85 degrees, 90 degrees and 100 degrees. And it also has a keep warm function. So another shameless plug for another bit of kit I've got today. So that's boiled. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a shot of me pouring the coffee, with dry coffee, straight into it. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is take a picture of me pouring the water in the top. Then I'm gonna take a picture of the water obviously doing its magic within the area. Um, I'm gonna try it and get, it's hard with this Chemex because of the glass. But I'm going to try and get um, a shot, like a drip of the water dripping through. Um, what I might have to do for that is turn my light up super bright and then set my camera to a fast shutter speed to uh, freeze the motion, basically. Um, but we'll go through this step by step anyway um, with video and pictures. And obviously once the coffee's come through, I'll take a picture of me pouring it um, probably into both. I'll pour it into this um, just to set the scene and then I'll pour it into this. And obviously this is the one I'm going to be drinking out of, another down the range coffee cup. Uh, and then I'll probably take, I don't know, I haven't thought about it yet, maybe a side profile picture of me actually drinking a brew, depending on how hot it is straight out of the kettle. But, after all of that, what I just talked about, it's probably going to be um, cold, which is fine because I like cold coffee. But that's what's going to happen. So, without further ado, let's get on it. What I have done then is I've just gone for a straight on shot. Okay, what I was going to do is try and get the coffee in, um, try and get a bit of the kettle in, everything else like that. The thing is, with that, is at the moment we're doing a shot sequence so let's check the recording cool beans so a shot sequence so you don't necessarily have to tell the story all in one photo um, and I think um, sometimes the photos can get a bit distracted if you're trying to tell too much within the one shot so for this one it's going to go for the simple shot and I'm basically going to pour the coffee in from about here I haven't lined it up yet, but if I look now, yeah, nice and simple. I'm gonna get the hand in there. Um, I might go a bit wider because it's quite tight, that shot. And then obviously I'm gonna try and freeze frame that. I have set my camera to a faster shutter speed. And um, I've also set it to take five photos um, after a five second delay. So press the button, that gives me enough time to pick up the coffee obviously. And as I pour it in slowly, uh, it's gonna take five photos. So I've manual focused as well. That's why I've got this on here at the moment. Manual focused on that. What I'm gonna do is, as I said, take the photo, fast shut speed and try and freeze the, uh, freeze the action. I've stuck my light on nice and bright. So you may be able to hear the fan for that. If you can't, happy days. So. Let's, let's get on it. Prep the coffee first, hoping that I don't drop it everywhere. And then I'm gonna press the timer. Happy days, I'm actually happy with that. The coffee is blurry because I can only get 200, 250th of a second. Um, and 
Um, I've got my hand in there, focus in there. I'm going to do one more try um, because I always have uh, two shots. Yeah, I'm going to try that again because I always have uh, two scoops of coffee anyway. So, not going to change any um, settings within the camera. Just going to press the shutter. Let's have a gander at those. Nah, I definitely prefer the first one. The reason why I prefer the first one, if you compare the two, as you can see on the screen, um, I prefer the fact that you've got the hand in there, the lighting. It's a bit more of a human element. Pardon me. Try and get the the lighting uh, on the hat. I'll try and get try and get it to relatable to people for whatever reason. I don't know why. It's just a human thing. A lot of pictures on Instagram. Um, do well with a human element. I guess as tribal animals that we are, everybody is inquisitive about what other humans are doing. So for whatever reason, I prefer it with the hand in there because it's a bit more relatable. But comment below which one or two, left or right, which one you prefer. So that's the first shot done. So moving on to the next one. So just move the, sli the camera slightly over the top because I'm gonna get some some water within here. I want a different view. I might put the coffee bag behind it, um, just because. Let's have a look. Mm, don't know. Let's have a look. Now nah, let's take it out again. Keep it nice and simple. And I, initially, I was gonna fill it up and then pour it in for the shot. But I might try and get a shot a bit more over the top like that. Turn the light up so you can actually see what's going on. Uh, my manual focus at the moment, so up there. And I might see if I can get the splash. Haven't decided yet, but we'll try that now, I think. Try and get the splash. If that doesn't work, because obviously you're only going to have one attempt, then I'll just go back to my original plan, which was to um, get the bubbles and stuff like that. But yeah, let's do this. Let's see what happens. So what I've done now is I've moved it. I'm going to try this shot. Um, here is the plane of focus. Um, only going to get a couple of attempts. I think I'm going to have to try and um, splash the water on purpose, which means I'm going to have to drop it from a height. And it also means I'm going to have to manually take pictures instead of doing it on a timer. So I'm just going to change those settings now. So my settings are 2000 ISO, because I'm trying to illuminate this. It's going to be too bright, but within the image, I'm going to lower the exposure a little bit, I think, lower the highlights. Five inch of a second, because I'm going to try and get some action in there. I'm only at f4. It's a bit of a pain, but my lens only goes to f4. So you've got to do what you've got to do. Hopefully, I've got a lens turning up in the next few days. I uh, got a text message yesterday saying it's going to turn up and, it, and then I tracked it and it said it's going to turn up tomorrow, nope, Monday, today's Saturday, then I got another message saying it could be here today, so it might arrive whilst I'm filming this, who knows, that could be exciting couldn't it guys, so yep, manual focus, going to get the splash in, so let's do that, and what I'm going to do is do it from a bit higher I think, and then try and take let's take a test shot first nice then I'm gonna try and splash it in there and let's have a look yeah we got I think we got a splash we got a splash but I am not really happy with that that's not how I wanted it to so yeah, as you can see, it's absolute carnage. So we've got the splash here. Uh, doesn't look very neat at the moment, clearly. Um, that's not how I wanted to do it. Really, it's not how, how it came out. So I'm gonna recompose and get a picture. Um, and sh basically I'm gonna recompose and show you how I want the picture to look like. Okay, so recomposed. So put the coffee there. I think it does, it works now, it's in the background. 
got the light just off to the side. Um, just bring it back in. It was just out of frame, was it? No, you can't see it now. It was in the frame. But what I want to try and do is I want to try and put the actual gooseneck in the shot like that because before it was splashing and the emphasis was on the coffee but I think it's got to be let's widen, out, widen it out a little bit I think that it's got to be um, the viewer to tell the story within the shot within the sequence the viewer's got to see where the water's coming from because it just makes sense it just adds the extra element so instead of splashing loads of water in there you want to see the kettles in there so it's a hard one let me just move it back a bit let's move it back zoom in let's turn it a little bit i think focus let's focus there we go See what that looks like from there. Mm, no, let's move it back. You've got to try these things. You've got to try these things. Changes on the fly all the time. Obviously, you can come up with a plan, and the plans change. So, move that back. Focus back on. Just turn it a little bit. Make it a little bit wider. Let's get the other elements in there. That bit of wood in there, look. Wooden table. Uh, well, that's light coming in there. It's a bit of a pain. Let's try and drop the background a bit. That looks a bit better. Let's get rid of that distraction. Let's turn the light, shall we? Yeah, let's put it back. There we go. Got a bit of reflection here, but I'll put that. Anyway, let's stop waffling. Look. So, if I poured out there, where is it? Let's pour it like that. So, it's going to be like this. I'll fill it up first. Fill it up a little bit. So, they've got a bit of the bubbles in there. And then I'll probably do it about there and then take the image. Okay, so as you can see in the shot, this is what we have got. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm just gonna take the shot as the water is dripping down from the chemex from the top to the bottom obviously emphasizing the fact that the water is taking its journey if you will from the top through the coffee and making coffee at the bottom so this is what the image is going to look like um, so basically as i said before i just wanted to get the emphasis of the drip coming down it's not pin sharp um, due to the focal length not the focal length shutter speed that i've got i shot it about uh, f7 uh, point one to try and get it in focus, but um, just here uh, the plane of focus is off. Um, it's really hard to manual focus on it. Um, the shutter speed's not fast enough because of the available light that I've got, <clears throat> and the glass is condensated, and also the glass is angled, and also the glass is uh, not opt optically. Uh, good glass so it's hard to focus on it regardless so but I still think I've got got the shot um, and, I, and I'm happy with it so let's move on to the next one so what I have here then I've moved it so that I've got a bit of compression I've got these beans the board those beans I'm gonna fill up this and for the shot I'm gonna fill up this one anyway that's the emphasis so I'm just gonna focus on that and if I can, I'm going to focus 
just on the handle. There we go. Um, and I'm going to pour the Chemex obviously into it. Um, I'm going to do it once obviously because of, of photo reasons, photographic reasons. Um, and, uh, yeah, why why I've got two glasses or two cups? Because you know that's how it roll. Why not? Uh, who wants one cup of coffee? That's boring. So let's have two cups of coffee. Anyway, we've got kettle in the background. Got shock and awe in the background this time because tells a story within the story. What coffee is he pouring within that? So yeah, happy with that. So let's do it. Um, shut speed. I'm gonna go for another shut, a fast shut speed. I'm hoping that I'm gonna get the coffee around this, but it's only small, so it's not gonna take very quickly to to um, uh, what do you call it, fill up. But let's see, let's see what happens. Well, that one didn't go to plan, so. Just gonna have to drink it, unfortunately. Good. What I'm gonna do now, do this shot again, but I'm gonna try and get the Chemex in the shot. More of the, the tip of the Chemex, but we shall see. It's, there's not much uh, room for error within the frame, but let's have a gander. Yes, I am happy with that. Going to drink this again, clearly. And then what I think I'm going to do is take a shot uh, of me drinking it, basically. So I'm going to clean it up. And then uh, I haven't decided yet. I want to decide on shot. I thought about doing it through the window. Let's try and talk into this camera. Gonna be able to see anything, but I tried to. I thought about shooting it through the window. Um, I thought I want to do it within the same area. I don't know, I might do it with this in the background, like that. Don't know yet. Let's have a play around and then uh, have a gander. Let's go. So the last thing to do then is obviously a drink the brew. So what I'm going to do is, um, I think I'm just going to go completely crazy. <laughs> Call me crazy, guys. But uh, yeah, silhouette myself on that. Drink the cold coffee. Told you, didn't I? It was going to be cold. And then um, that will finish the, the shot sequence. So. so yeah, let's have a gander at that one then. Yeah, to round it off then, we've gone through um, establishing shot, all the gear that you're going to be using. We've gone pouring it in, obviously following the sequence, pouring the dry coffee in, pouring the water in, watching the water go through, and then, yeah, enjoying the coffee. So that, to me, is telling the story within a group of images. Comment below if you enjoyed this one. Um, I'd love to just see something simple. It's making breakfast, making a brew, starting the car, anything. Just a five shot, six shot, four shot sequence of photos. Something simple just to get the creative juices going. Um, comment below on um, your YouTube channel, your Instagram feed. Let's get let's get linked up, guys. Let's get communicating, and let's uh, let's get this community uh, growing. So, comment below, like, subscribe, all those good things, and follow me on Instagram here. And I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>